The Central Bank of Nigeria's strict recapitalization policies having an impact on four significant Nigerian banks, which could result in the loss of their brand names. According to an inquiry, these institutions are extremely worried by the CBN's recent clearance of the Unity Bank merger. With its new regulatory framework, the CBN is eager to avoid another bank failure, which is why this action is being taken to prevent it. Aziz Lawal, Managing Director, Trust Bank Asset Management Limited, joins me for this. Good morning and thank you for joining me today. Yeah, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Very well, thank you. Well, looking at this particular report, it talks about four banks that may lose their identities in the recapitalization move. Is this something investors and customers should be worried about? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, talk, talking about um, uh, worry, uh, there are lots to worry about uh, looking at the economic environment, uh, but definitely not so. Uh, not with this very capitalization uh, from the body language of of the CBN and from a lot of this transparency, uh, uh, transparent uh, moves and, and circulars that we have seen, uh, it doesn't look like um, a district capitalization program generally is what we should be worried worried about, uh, right? It is it is meant and like 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 the CBN said that this is uh, the main objective here really. Is to is to kind of engender a kind of imagine emergence of a stronger, healthier, and and more resilient uh, uh, banks to support the uh, specifically the one trillion dollar uh, economy that the current administration is looking to uh, to create uh, by the year twenty thirty. Right. So uh, more than there's enough to worry about in Nigeria, but from what we are seeing now, uh, this recapitalization does not really look like uh, one of such. All right, let's dig deeper into this particular report. Now, when you read that report, you know, from beginning to the end, when my bank is sort of written all over, all over it now, uh, the bank recently raised 40 billion now through a rights issue, bringing its total capital to 55 billion naira, which, which is still short of the required 200 billion naira. All hope doesn't seem lost, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so the, the, the timeline of uh, between the first of April 20. 24 to oh, to 31st uh, March 2026. That's about 24 months. So, um, though we've seen that in the last, in, I mean, since the announcement in April, we've seen that a number of banks have come to the market already. But, but the good thing is that there's still enough room for where one wants to come. Uh, you see, I'm like uh, up to up to another 18 months uh, down the line to to pursue this target. And the fact that the bank originally, the bank originally took. The fact that the bank originally had their own plan to raise capital, because before now, they had a strategic plan, a two-year strategic plan to raise 150, bill, 150 billion naira. And um, by the by the by the by by general of this year, they had already touched a particular milestone around that. That uh, tells you that beyond regulation, beyond regulation, it's a bank that on that on a path of deliberate uh, strategy to strengthen its position in the market. Now, the recapitalization program being imposed now by the CBN regulatory wise, uh, it's not in any way uh, going to endanger the bank, but rather it's more going to strengthen the strategy of the bank. So we expect that over the over the number of months remaining for this uh, for the targets to be met, that's the the room provided by the by the CBN. We expect that. All right, Mr. Lawal, Mr. Lawal, I'm afraid we have to take a break now. When we we'll come back, we'll continue the conversation. Thank you.
If you're just tuning in, this is Business Edge. And of course, I've been having this conversation with Aziz Lawal. Aziz Lawal, thank you for staying with me. Thank you. All right, before we went on that timeout, we were talking about Wema Bank and how that they still have enough time. And uh, you're talking about 18 to 19 months. I'd like you to take it up from there. Okay. Yeah, uh, looking at the history of the bank uh, and the performance of, of the bank, particularly the growth trajectory that we've seen with the bank in terms of strategy, uh, particularly in the fintech space, you see that it's a very strong and uh, uh, and uh, an LD bank, right? So that the bank will raise uh, that required capital uh, within that time frame is is not in doubt, right? And uh, even in the past, uh, because around 2013, uh, coincidentally, the banks still raised them. Uh, around 40 billion as well. And those were very difficult times for the bank. Uh, and we believe that those, those years where the bank was struggling, it's far, far beyond the bank. It's more of those, uh, it's more like in that league of banks where you look into the future, you see the bank emerging uh, stronger. So given the period of time still available to achieve uh, that, that target or that regulatory requirement from the CBN, we expect that the, uh, uh, the bank will meet that, that capital targets in time. Thank but you. let's move away from Wema Bank because four banks were actually mentioned in that particular report. Industry watchers are also worried about the banks that had their boards taken over by the CBN. And I'm guessing these are the three, you know, the other three the report refers to, or are there other ones? Yeah, thank you. Uh, that, that's it. That's a tricky question. Um, oh, well. Quite a number of this, but yeah, yeah, it is tricky, actually. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, the report, yeah, uh, quite a, a, a number of valid points in the report, actually. Uh, uh, quite a number of statements uh, speculative. And uh, as far as banking is concerned, and if you, if for like for the stability of the financial system, typically you you make you you make comments and give opinions on these uh, based on what the CBN has said, right? Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, like looking at the body language of the current CBN and looking at um, uh the the performance of banks in the like the ones that we've seen their results you see that these banks are still doing very well right despite the uh economic uh, uh challenges they're still doing very well uh so unless we see specific communication from the cba uh on those banks i i i don't think uh, i mean like uh, uh the license that was withdrawn recently and uh, i mean we we had a uh, we had the signals, yeah, right. Even before, before, before it came, before the CBN announced, like the signals were there, right. Uh, but based on current, uh, uh, current environment, based on what we are seeing in the current environment, there's, there's nothing indicate, indicating that there's any endangered or threat, threatening or distressed uh, bank now, and, and we don't even have close to it. I mean, what, what normally we would have said, maybe, we'll, maybe closely would have been Unity Bank, but we've seen the position of the CBN. And the 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 the, the action it took uh, the CBN took in, in that regard not only approved the merger but they only also supported the merger with seven hundred billion. That's very very significant and also speaks to the to the to the to the body language of the CBN in ensuring that this they are there we have all their uh, uh, financial institutions and, and, and stronger banks. Thank okay, you. well, let's look at the standing of some of those banks. I mean, one of them has been hit hard by a recent downgrade from Fitch Ratings, which lowered its long-term issuer default rating, that's IDR, to CCC from B-, minus, and its national uh, long-term rating to B+, plus from BBB, and then we also have Fitch, you know, downgrading the bank's viability rating as we are to CCC from B-, minus, citing concerns about a prolonged breach of the bank's total capital adequacy ratio and uncertainty about the timeline for restoring compliance is 19 months or 18 months as you have said enough for this bank to re-emerge unscathed or would it have to succumb to identity loss as the report puts it we're not even talking about the bank and we're not mentioning the name of the bank but you can go ahead and mention the name if you want yeah thank you Papeto. <laughs> Another interesting question, right? So, yeah, I'll, I'll take the uh, I'll take the the response from the just generally comment on rating, right? So sometimes rating, a lot of times, uh, rating will always consider the the realities of the economic environment. You it's going to, it's always going to be very difficult for you to emerge as a strong institution 
in an environment where the headwinds are just uh, as, as so, so, so low, right? That's on, on one path, right? And then specifically uh, to this bank, right? Uh, like I said, uh, and from the success we've seen in the last two, three months uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the banks that have come into the market and from the body language we've seen from investors, we are seeing that quite a number of investors are, are anxious about these offers and they are willing to invest in this in these banks, right? Given that, even though that that program is still in very very early stage, right? We still have eighteen to twenty one months, right? So, uh, so that's enough enough. That will be enough for for the banks that come to the market. And given also given the fact that, uh, so the role we call liquidity in financial system where. If liquidity is very, very tight, even if you're a strong bank, it will be very difficult for you to raise money, right? So given this tight, current tight liquidity regime that we believe that it can only get stronger in the coming months and banks are still being able to raise money. So there's almost no doubt that going forward, depending on your fundamentals and historical performance, yeah, capital adequacy ratio, some of these banks, even the strong ones, there's that, that there had been that uh, comment and reservation around their capital adequacy ratios. And that's one of the reasons why the CBN is coming up with this recapitalization program in, uh, in the first place. And not even saying that just recapitalize, defining what uh, uh, capital will qualify and specifying that it can only be ordinary share capital and share premium. Because what that means is that fresh liquidity will come into this bank and strengthen their, their capital base. And we expect that that will happen too. So, All right. Uh, the projected banks in this in this popular article. Thank you. Okay. Well, you and other industry players agree that recapitalization is good for the industry and, of course, the economy. Now, standing on that foundation, should a merger, acquisition, or even license downgrade be something to be worried about, or is there a point where we should be worried? We're closing on that. Yeah, Thirty you. seconds. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The as far as majors are concerned, uh, I mean, there's always a there, there's always a worry of culture, uh, leadership, and strategy alignment. There's always a worry, and it's always going to be there, right? And no matter how strong the emerging banks are, uh, are, are, no matter how strong the emerging banks, uh, no matter how strong they are, there's always going to be that worry of what we find eventually we won't start doing things together. Is this going to be that alignment where we're going to enjoy the benefit of synergy? But Despite that, if you look at the benefit, the far outweigh those worries and that, what benefits are we talking about? We're talking about the healthier bank, a uh, stronger bank that will stabilize the financial system. So given the current uh, trajectory and the guidance from the CBN, we expect that this, uh, this, the banks that will, that will go for the, that will, that, will, that will opt for that option of major, they will emerge stronger. And uh, we've, we've mentioned, uh, Providence and Unity Bank. You are talking about this Providence that is futuristic with strong with strong operations and strategy, merging with a with, with a bank with uh, with with legacy advantage, which spread all over Nigeria and supported by CBNs and seven hundred billion. They can only become stronger. Initially, they may cope with alignment uh, around culture and leadership, but eventually, uh, they will become a stronger entity. And the 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 market is very very confident about that. Thank you. All right, Aziz Lawal, Managing Director, Trust Bank Assets Management Limited. Thank you for your time and your thoughts on Business Edge today. Yeah, thank you so much for all this. Thank you.